Um, moving on, our next um, our next teammate turmoil pair is Julio Jones and Calvin Ridley. Julio Jones has a current ADP of 16th overall, uh, and Ridley is going all the way down at 41st overall. Uh, Julio Jones last season was top two, or I'm sorry, he's been top two in receiving yards for five straight seasons. He's averaged more than 1,550 receiving yards over the last six years. Um, And, you know, you also... Uh, yes, Ridley's amazing and he did very well and he's going to, I think, do great things this season. But I think that also could help Julio and potentially uh, keep some of the double teams away from him in some situations, maybe uh, helping Julio score. And then compared to Ridley, who was wide receiver 25 last season and half PPR, commanded almost a 20% target share after Mo Sanu was traded. Um, you know, that 20% target share is high. Uh, but it's not it's not like, you know, wide receiver one overall target share levels. Uh, however, they threw the ball almost 700 times. So even though he didn't have the elite of the elite target share percentages, he still commanded an extremely healthy amount of targets um, because they threw the ball 686 times. So still going to be tremendous volume there for Ridley. Averaged um, eight plus targets, almost six catches, 80 plus yards and a touchdown every other game after Sanu was traded and outscored Julio on a like a per like a game against game basis uh, again after Sanu was traded. Um, I mean, you have Dirk Cutter taking over the offense again. We've talked about what that means for Matt Ryan. Like he had extremely productive seasons under Dirk Cutter from 2012 to 2014, throwing for a minimum of uh, 415 completed passes, 4,500 yards, and at least 26 touchdowns in each of those seasons with a high mark of 32. You lose Austin Hooper, freeing up 97 targets. I mean, yes, you add Hayden Hurst back in there, but I don't. Hayden Hurst, Helmsley, Triple H, H, please. There you go. So I don't, for me, honestly, at the where, Julio where, Jones at yeah, 16th. I mean, where, 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 right, where are their ADPs? Who, who is at 16 and what's Ridley at? 41. Okay. Uh, honestly, this, I'll put it to you like this. I'm, I'm probably not going to get either of them this year because at 16, I like the value at other positions more than I like Julio. And at 41, I like other receivers more than I like Ridley. Ridley. So if I had to pick, I would probably go. I don't know. It's like, do you go with the 1500 yards? I don't know. What would you do? Yeah. I mean, here's, here's my thing. If, you have to rely on your rankings. So when you when you get to a spot, and if Julio's the highest ranked player on your board, you should clearly take him because he's again, it's a track record thing. When he's averaged over fifteen hundred yards a year since uh, what twenty fourteen? Is that is that what you said? He's something, something averaging one thousand five hundred sixty four yards over the last six years. Yeah, since twenty fourteen. Yeah, and so four, 14 points a week um, I have in my notes from from our wide receiver one show, and it's it's one of those things where he's just so good, and if anything, I don't think his targets go down. Like, even if they throw less, they're still going to make sure that Julio gets the ball. And I, I think if, if anything, that Ridley's targets, you know, would see the decrease if they threw the ball less. And I know you talk about Dirk Cutter, Todd Gurley's there. I think they're going to run the ball a little bit more, maybe be more of a ball control offense. Um, yeah, that could hurt in the red zone a little bit more if you got Gurley running it in and they're not throwing it. Sure. So I, I do think that that could hurt both of those players. Um, I, I've i always had a thing for, for Julio. He's just a physical specimen. Um and again, like I said this before, but Julio Jones in NFL history averages the most yards per game, which is 96. And the next closest is 87, which is Michael Thomas. So like you're provided he stays healthy. And I know I feel like Julio always gets like, you know, 
even go back to college, I think he had the cracked foot or whatever. And he, has, he had screws in his foot or I don't know if he still does or not. But I always feel like he gets dinged up like week two or week three and he just like battles through an injury every year. Yeah. Um, he had the bad back issues for a while too. Yeah. Um, I mean, I clearly Julio Jones is the better of the two players. That's why he's going uh, 25 picks ahead of Ridley. Um, so I... I think that, and and one thing that we're that I should mention when we're going through these people is, if you don't get one, you should target the other one, like because the the difference between these guys isn't like massively huge, and we've talked about it. Ridley will have weeks where he outscores Julio on a relatively frequent basis because of him scoring more touchdowns. Now, if Julio ever figures out how to get in the end zone, then that it won't even be a comparison. And I feel like that there's a decent chance with it's that. coming. Well, yeah, you it's have coming. Hooper scored six touchdowns in 10 starts last season. He played in 13 games, but he scored six touchdowns in 10 starts. Like, I understand Hurst is going to be there, but you don't know if all of those goal, like end zone targets are going to stay at the position or they could potentially go to other targets that he's, that Matt Ryan, I don't know, has played with for like the last 10 years in Julio Jones. So, yeah, I mean, Again, since 2014, he's had one season under 1,400 yards total, and it was last year, and he only had 1,394 yards. So, I mean, you can basically pencil him in for 1,400 yards every year. That's almost 100 yards a week. Um, So, you can't argue with that. The consistency is there, and if he ever starts scoring, like if he had a 10-touchdown year, oh, my God. Um, Yeah. So, like – for that reason, I I don't mind taking Julio in the second round. That'd be a round. long time coming, man. Yeah, and I, I've talked about it before. I love the wide receiver, wide receiver. Give me give me two good ones to start. So if I can get Tyreek and Julio, um, or Michael Michael Thomas and Julio, um, both down in the AFC South, where they're going to be shootout games between the Bucks, the Saints the Falcons and the Panthers, like all those games should be like 35, 31 shootouts, 38, 30, 35, 42, 38. Like all of those games should be very high scoring. And so I want as many players as I can possibly get from the AFC South mm-hmm. or sorry, NFC South. NFC. Okay. Um, I guess for me, looking where Ridley's going, like David Montgomery is going there. I love David Montgomery as a potential RB two. Uh, Juju's going there. I would probably take Juju over Ridley. Uh, Alvin Robinson is going after Ridley. I would prefer Alan Robinson. And so is Bob Woods. He's like, going after Ridley. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I, I would take all of those guys over Calvin yeah. Ridley, so, which is why I think yep. I'm going to miss him. And that's not that I think he's bad. Like, I think he's going to he he could very well be like a wide receiver too. But like these guys I have penciled in as wide receiver ones. So, yep, I'll take that. Yeah, um, I agree. 